right, um, welcome back. I thought I'd just make another video on <clears throat> how I go about uh, dividing up my plants once they've grown um, and to start putting them into media that contains um, rooting hormones so they'll add to um, right, Before I start dividing up these plants, um, my containers that I use for um, producing roots on plants, um, I actually vent them. Um, put a little hole, that's about a 3 to 4 mil hole in the lid um, and then put a vent covering over it. Now you can buy commercial grade um, vent spots but uh, can turn out to be rather expensive um, after a while. So all these are as simple um, is micropore tape, M3 micropore. So all I do is uh, <clears throat> make a little hole around about 3-4 mil. Um, usually melt it through in these smaller containers um, with something that's hot makes it a bit cleaner um, and with the thicker lidded containers I'll, I'll drill a hole in them but it's around about the size 3 mil um, and then simply put two layers of the um, micropore tape across the top of them I just usually go the opposite ways as well so I don't know if it makes it any different but it keeps me happy um, and yeah so that just allows that um, once the plants are in there and once they start to grow um, gas exchange between the container and the outside environment. Um, also it sort of hardens the plants off a little bit as well so there's not so much of a shock, a little bit of the moisture escapes and it's a little less humid inside the container after a while. Um, but like I said yes you can buy the um, commercial vent spots for this process but um, well they range from anywhere from about 80 cents to two dollars depending on what type you get um, and they don't last forever. This tape seems to last for quite some time too. I've only just, like I said, I've just been using it for the last few months um, and it seems to be working fine. Um, so what I'm going to do today anyway is um, divide up a couple of plants. Now this one I'll just simply divide up and drop into the containers. Um, maybe keep some of the callus and regrow again as well. Uh, it looks like it's fairly well formed in there and hopefully we'll get them to develop roots. Um, also over here, this container is a little bit more trickier <laughs> once you start getting a container so full like this. Um, I'll have to lay it out on the um, bottom of the flow hood here and actually chop it up. Um, you'll see what I mean when I get to it anyway and I'll show you how I go about that just due to the size of it and the difficulty of trying to cut individual bits and pieces out of it. Um, but before I go too far, we'll simply just uh, remove this from the container and chop it up. Alright, um, I'll just remove my utensils from the uh, glass bead steriliser. They've been sitting in there for quite some time. Um, let them cool off. Um, what I'll also do is drain the excess water out of these containers before I go too far. It's just a simple matter of um, opening up the containers and pouring off the condensation that's in. Not 100% necessary, but um, I tend to do it with all my containers anyway. We'll just do it to a few. I think probably going to need to. Four containers. Drained all the condensation out of them. Um, okay. As you noticed in previous videos, I just continually spray my hands. This is just methylated spirits. Um, cheap and easy to get hold of and um, sterilise everything. Give the whole cabinet to sterilise with it. Um, and also the containers, I just simply just hold them up and give them a good soaking with it. Let them sit in here for a little while, turn the fan on and let the glass bead sterilise the sterilise the utensils while I'm waiting. So what we've got right now, might as well uh, remove this plant out and start chopping him up.
chunk of plant in there. It's quite a few little plant that's growing on it. Simply just grab it and remove it. Try and knock off a bit of the gel that's attached to it so that doesn't go everywhere. Fall into your containers. The easiest way I've found to do this with it is probably just simply to remove the lid altogether. Keep holding on to the actual clump and then just individually cut a few of these little plants and let them drop into the container and then worry about placing them into the media properly. Loaded spirit, so I give the utensils a quick swish around in there before I put them back in the blast booth steriliser. Alright, so as you can see, we've got quite a few plants in there. I'll just uh, maneuver them about a bit and stick them in to the media the right way up, which sometimes can be quite difficult to do. As you move one around, you pull the other one out, so, which is what I'm doing at the moment. And they really don't have to be like sitting in the media um, as long as they're down in there laying on it or something like that um, that should be fine and there's one done moving out of the way and do the same thing again over here fiddly at times. Once again, try and move the lid. Right, try and pick him up again. Same as I did last time. Simply cut him up. Let him fall in there. Maybe. the larger ones in there. Now, all I can simply do is just place this back into the old container um, and let it grow a bit more. Grab some of those that we've chopped off already. bit more we might get a few more plants set off down the track if not uh, plenty more <laughs> so now like I did the previous one is try and get these little bubbles to up the right way as I said they don't have to be down like buried in the media at all they seem to grow quite fine just sitting on the top actually it's sort of normally the way I prefer it just to have them sitting on the top of the media not actually down into it and there we go 